Have you ever had a teacher who has that unique sense of teaching? Yeah. A favorite? Yeah. Well, I found one this week. He plays the saxophone, and he's teaching his students how to see music in a whole different way. From the outside, the Strauss Center is all about Broadway. <laughs> On the inside, it's where Matt Weinmuller is creating jazz stars. You know, you got to be careful that you don't put too much into it. He makes it so easy to play off of him because he lays down things really nicely and it's just easy to follow. Doing it without ever reading a single sheet of music. I was able to, to see a little bit slightly, slightly more than I can see now, which is to really say almost nothing. Born blind with Lieber's congenital amaurosis, Weimiller's love for sports played out in a different tune. Music really be kind of became my competitive uh, sport, if you would. And it was kind of really what gave me, you know, freedom. <laughs> He learned not by Braille. A sheet of print music is about to be maybe five or six Braille pages. Instead this. Frogs every day can. Something like that. It was very bizarre. And mostly by simply opening his ears. Jazz improvisation was originally you know, all done by the ear. It was someone coming up with just an idea off the top of their head because they were just jamming, and, and then they made that into a song. Now he teaches his students to close their eyes for once. I'll play the melody, mm -hmm. okay, and you just play time behind it. It's really been life-changing. That was pretty good, man. A change Y. Mueller made when he learned to play, giving the meaning of jazz a whole new sense of purpose. Music to me is, is freedom. Well, if you want, you can see these students tonight at 6.30. They're going to have their annual jazz jam where they show off all of their unique techniques and everything they learned from him. Tickets are $10 and it goes to the Patel Conservatory at the Strad Center. Really an amazing story to do. I can't believe that. Completely worth the $10 to go hear them. Exactly. And it goes to a good cause, teaching more students. There you go.